Hey everybody, today I want to talk about a few things. One of them is why power is in the hands of people who are brutal and stupid. Um, from what I know about neurobiology, I'm not very knowledgeable about it, but I've learned a little bit from Stanford lectures that are free. Uh, it seems like people who are more inclined to... Uh, think with their frontal cortex and to act upon it are the ones who get powerful positions but also uh, there's a part of our brain called the anterior cingulate which uh, when we see somebody uh, witness it we witness somebody in pain or suffering we uh, see that that part of the brain activates in some people more than others of course um, and that brings us to the question, uh, well, also, do we, you know, it activates when we feel pain or suffering, and also when we see another being uh, enduring this much of the same thing. So that points to something like it's a witness uh, in the way that people who believe in God would much understand, like, when we see our fellows suffering, we have a response usually to stop it or nowadays to pull out a camera and videotape it but the thing is uh, you know that points to something bigger than humankind just itself in the fact that it doesn't have to be us uh, but if it is us it's the same part of the brain that activates uh, you can look up mirror neurons for some reason they do not want to study it very much more perhaps the implications upon uh, governance you know what I mean so I think that uh, everybody should go out today talk to about three or four people about bring to them the idea hey do you think uh, people are more impro important than profit and if they say yes then logically explain to them why we need change in the system uh, that would be every single day of my life what I've been doing uh, and then they go okay uh, and if you don't get crucified uh, keep them as friends you know because once sooner or later they're gonna leave you because they say what can you do for me well I'll tell you a tip everybody if you don't want to be used have nothing then nobody can use you but also uh, see who sticks around they're usually the ones worth keeping when stuff hits a fan I, I already know a few who I think uh, I know where they should go Siberia or something but yo everybody check out my channel retro hyphen revival retro hyphen revival because I need more watch hours on that and if you kind people are still watching I think you probably care enough to help your fellow human being that would be very nice um, if we carry a message bigger than ourselves it's like priests except without the BS part and without the sanction from God we do not have uh, much of a value compared to the priest but it does not matter because when we sacrifice for the cause uh, people will take note of it and become a little bit more liberty loving. Uh, that's all I have to say today people. Peace.